Okay, hello guys, welcome to Vain Glory Seed. So, um, we have already come to the summer season of seeds. So, um, today will be the round of 64, uh, day 4 now. And the match at 8 pm, which is now, will be between the teams are Ethereal's Nvidia and Generous Bravo. So together with me today uh, is Rock and I'm MKC000 so we'll be casting the game for today and I'll put Rock on now. Yep, Rock, say hi. Hello guys, this is Rock911. <laughs> So I hope um, you guys can hear the both of us. La 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 la. Hmm, seems like both sides are on. Let's check if they are ready. Yep, so all the players are here now and we will be starting very soon. Hmm, seems like both sides are ready. I think they can hear me because they hear me. La, 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 la. Okay. But Amber says that you need to be louder. Okay, I'll put myself louder then. <clears throat> okay, so they are ready now and we will start the match now. Ready? Okay, for your information, I'm trying to keep myself not nervous by that. Okay, so on the blue side, we have uh, the team on the blue side will be NVIDIA. 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 And on the red side, there is Generals Bravo. So yep. there's an immediate box ban already. And Taka on the Bravo side. But that Lyra is Lyra is open. open. Yep, Lyra is open. No! Better! <laughs> oh my god, we see a half house. Hell, if he's the only one that I don't know how to pronounce. Let's go. Yep, so Petal first pick, right? And uh, on the other side, that's Ringo and Sky pick instead. Is our game audio still loud? Oh, I just ready. Hmm, I hear some thumbs up, thumbs down here and there. Oh, uh, okay. Seems like I can. <laughs> Let me guess. For the Indivia side, we will have Casual Lane, Battle Jungle, and Catherine Rome. Swap Where Casual will go WPM, Petal go GG. Yep, and I feel like um, Petal would be a good counter to Sky, especially when all the Manias are body blocking the 4 Prepare barrage. <clears throat> yep. Okay, so I'll be controlling the camera today. The battle for the Halcyon Gold has begun. I was kind of shocked that Lyra was not picked though. Yeah, I would say Lyra is actually a very good counter to a lot of heroes. Um, just like just like Arden actually, with all the all three of Arden's abilities are dash abilities. So. <clears throat> yep, and over here we can see that 
for individual sites, they are doing the reverse rotation. Yeah, and people still do reverse rotation now. Uh, it's it's yeah. not common, but uh, they still do it. Hmm. General Bravo needs to be careful. You can see how low their jungle is just now. And for Indivia side, they are still following the old update where the room is tanking, which is not as advisable. Which causes Katrin to use up the Hellshion Potion. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, since they have the Iron Guard contract, they can do more of a traditional kind of thing. Whereas on the raid side, they do not have any contracts, so um, it's good if they actually juggle the... Uh, the yeah, seems the like minions. they want to rush for that fountain of renewal from those items. Yeah, we see both no, of them going, is going very low. And now we see an assassination from the back, and Ringo goes down. Yeah, this Arden this doesn't seem to be able to survive. The Manion's OP and killed the Arden. It was a nice rotation from the enemy side up to the lame brush. You know, Arden and Ringo was not aware that. Petter and Katrin were there, so um, they were chasing too far down for the Castro, so... Yep, and it yeah, was a very nice rotation them. from Indivia's side. Once they see Castro in trouble, they immediately rotate up to assist Castro, which causes them to secure the two kills. Wait, what? Did Petter just use the boot? Oh, no wonder Petter has spotted the Arden from the South Trap. Yeah, probably just wanted to go for the Arden since he was alone, but not fast enough. But kind of wasted to have used her boot, which has two and a half minutes of cooldown. They're going for the invade though, Sky just barely manages to get away. In and case some of you are wondering who is casting, today we have MKC000 and Rock911, where I'm Rock911 and he's MKC000. Yep, they're grouping out the jungle going to fight, they're going on Petal and um, Catherine is coming from yep. behind there, but they are ch still chasing Petal down into the ring goes. Going with, but Petal is fighting really well on the Arden, and the Arden actually went down. Yep. Well, at the same time, the sky actually went down because Kestra was able to 1v1 on the other side. And it's at 3 minutes 40 seconds. But basically, just now we can see a very nice, um, merciless pursuit coming from Catherine, stunning the main Why damage killer, which is uh, Sky, causing the better to last slightly longer yep and uh, we see Petal just going to the enemy's jungle to steal some jungle farms and she's already you know 10 farm ahead of sky already so that's quite good mm -hmm. I feel like Castro is just okay I thought she was just standing there but she started moving that's good see much action coming from both sides. They are just farming in jungle and both sides have just taken their own minion mine. Yep. And in lane five still... minutes into the game man we see 1.7k goal lead. Advantage of Indivia. Whoa nice vision control from Bravo side seeing the jungle invade but Arden is very low now and Arden just got picked up. The Gleam one shot will you be able to pick up because Ringo will seem like he's not able to do anything. And now we can see the power brush coming from the Sky. 
No, and Sky just went down from the money space attack. Yeah, once again, a very good rotation on from the enemy side of from the blue team. So um, they managed to catch them off guard and got two kills for themselves. Uh, it's the five minute mark and they already have about three k of gold lead on the blue side. Yup, and it seems like the first turret will go down. The first turret being destroyed in 6 minutes. Whoa, that's awesome. And now we can see Casual being in trouble, being too greedy for the power, uh, turret. And now that was a very nice fountain coming for catch. The one shot, one kill misses the Arden. Yeah, it was a great fountain coming out of Catherine that is barely saving Castro. Yeah, at the same time, the merciless, uh, merciless pursuit stunning the Ringo. Oh my god, will it? Oh my god. Oh wow, there was action was happening us. both sides. There was a fight in the jungle where Petal actually got the Arden and as well as the, at the lane. Um, Ringo and Cash actually went for the 1v1 and Ringo actually won that fight. Yep, because of Cash not going back to shop, Cash was kind of mm, losing out in terms of items. And now he, after dying, going back to the base, you can see Kestrel picking up the Sorrow Blade. Yep, and I would wow. say, you know, both teams have uh, pretty good vision control. We see Scout Traps um, over the jungle. Mm -hmm. uh, both sides have very nice defensive vision in their jungle such that they will know whether the opponent will invade but on Indivia's side it will be slightly weaker and now we can see a fight in the lane will Sky be able to escape that most love person was very nice and now the death for buff coming from the sky is holding them away and the one shot one kill pick up the sky and there was a great one shot one kill from Castro there it's a great aiming and just barely picks up the sky Castro is going, going for this turret maybe. He just wants to lure the Arden out. Yep. And at the same time you can see Petal taking out the minion mine. They're grouping up again. And the now the ulti managed to caught Arden off guard and Arden was picked out. That was a nice stun from Catherine though. Um, the stun actually allowed Petal's ulti to reach Arden there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, and I just realized 9 minutes into a game and it's a 5 point 1k goal lead. Yep, and, and at the KD same time, they have, 10 to 1. Yeah, they have a 9 kill speed. Advantage. Castro alone in the lane Cashel. there. Castro have a, a nice active camo but Castro just needs to be careful because his whole team is not there. And Castro just uses a fountain. The Mercedes Castro went in but got nothing because of Ringo's reflex block. And okay. now we can see yeah, Petal going to farming down there. Yep. Hmm. There was a bad death from the coming from Sky, uh, but it was a nice gun coming from the Arden. Will they be able to pick up the cash flow and cash flow went down from the PC attack? Nice out coming from the Petal. Will they be able to pick up the Arden? They should not be aiming for the Arden, in for the Sky! And Sky was almost... Yeah, it was a nice LD there. from Petal, but luckily Arden has that Fountain of Renewal that managed to, you know, give them some health back to sustain them in the fight. Yep. 
and we see the farm difference between Petal and Sky, right? It's, uh, around like, you know, 60 farm, uh, Petal is actually 60 farm ahead of Sky. That shows that... Not only that, yep. but you can see Petal being level 11 at the same time, Sky is only level 7. Yep, I would say that Sky uh, missed out too much jungle farm, and Petal just rotated yep. to the jungle at every time she can to get the uh, jungle lead. But Cash, but Sky is in a very dangerous position. If Casho was to use the one shot one kill, Sky will be picked up. But it was too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost... Luckily, uh, Sky manages to walk away first, and Sky has finally picked up the first tier three item, which is Frost Burn for this game. Hmm. Now we can see on the individual side they are taking the gold mine. However, on Bravo side they do not have any vision. Yup, and they just got 300 gold payout each. Hmm. But comparing for the laner, you can see that. For Indivia side, the casual is behind by two levels as compared to a Ringo. Yep, and that would be because uh, Ringo actually. It should be because you know Ringo had uh, often just rotated to the jungle to participate in more fights than Castro. Yep. And they are, they are being side. spotted by the scout trap. It was a nice play coming from Catherine, but oh my god, it was not coordinated within that team fight. And you can see that no one really that follow up that quickly. However, they are still able to pick up the ring gold. Yep, and they're going for the Arden. Will the Manus be able to get the Arden? No, that's just nice. But a one shot, one kill gets. <laughs> that was a nice one shot, one kill from Castro there. So although the uh, gauntlet from the other one was really good, but um, they isolated Catherine from both um, Castro and Petal, but Ringo was outside the gauntlet too, and Castro and Petal was just able to focus on Ringo really well. Nice merciless was still coming from Catherine, and they managed to pick up the stuff. The Hellfire Brew, will you be able to take down the Castro? Yep, and Castro got be taken down. Okay, sure need, I mean, Ringo needs to be careful and now... Nice Vanguard coming from Arden. And we can see that Petal is continuing denying Skyfound. And we see around 7k gold lead on the blue side now. Yep, and 10 kills ahead. And now we can see that Arden is trying his best to get his team some vision. Currently, they are just securing their own jungle. No team fight at the moment, and we just see the Catherine getting the contraption at the same time. Ringo getting the weapon infusion. Seems like Ringo wants to fight over here, but they do not have vision of the opening. Yep, and besides, um. Castro actually picked up the weapon infusion as well, so I would be thinking that since Kraken is out now, they want to fight soon and contest for the Kraken. Yep. But there we go, Sky is trying to go on them. Yep. But uh, in my opinion, I would say that the fights will be disadvantageous to the General Bravos because Sky haven't, hasn't got the Broken Myth yet. Uh, which is a very important item, especially when you are in a team fight. And there we go.
there was a bad RT coming from battle, missing everyone, but oh my god, nice merciless pursuit, stunning away the other gauntlet. And now the team fight seems to be up. Nice merciless pursuit coming from Catherine again, saving the battle. Catherine was actually executing a lot of nice stuns, and uh, yep. those actually. The, all three stuns are very important for the team. The last stun barely saved Petal actually. Yep. And now they can go for the Kraken as well as going for one more turret there. Mm -hmm. So on the red side, we have one last turret. And two teams. Yep, mean one we can see for Indivia, their turret is all full health. Yeah. And they and just Kraken. unleash the Kraken. However, you can see that vision gas got spotted now after being there since the start of the game. Oh, the sculpture got a minion though. Yep, the sculpture also got a uh, healing minion. <laughs> and out of nowhere, you can see the Arden got the healing, <laughs> healing buff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Kraken's pushing, and it may be the last push for. Yeah, 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 and nice Hellfire Bruce hitting on the castle, but it was a nice crucible coming from Catherine. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, the ulti doing so much damage. Nice silence coming from Catherine. Yeah. Seems like this game is gonna go to Endivia's side. Yeah, yeah, they are going for Kraken is still going Kraken for is still very healthy. Yeah. GG! Yeah, and there we go. That's the GG and the first game of the night goes to Ethereal's Invidia. These are the items. So yes guys, we will be back at 9pm for the second match of the night. Um, just give me a moment, let me set the overlay. Yep. Mm. And the match at 9pm will be between Asus and Stance and El Toro. El Toro.